äh, ups, Loot. Ja. Gut. 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 So. Weiter geht's mit Higurashi. Das letzte Mal ist ja nichts besonders äh, passiert. Hauptsächlich eigentlich nur die ganzen Charaktere wurden vorgestellt. Und wir haben einen Tag in der Schule verbracht und mehr jetzt eigentlich auch nicht wirklich. So. <lacht> I took it a, lead a little too easy on the morning of my day off. I was totally late. Today was the day Rena and Mion were going to show me around Hinomizawa. Yay. Kleines bisschen laut. So. Rena and Mion were already already waiting at the meeting place. Kate Jan, you're late. Sorry, the show I was watching last night was really interesting. Blame that. Oh, so that's your excuse for being late and keeping two girls waiting? Me Jan, you just got you just got here yourself. Ah, last night's episode of A Day in the Life of was interesting, wasn't it? She was just as guilty as me. Was wird neben Higurashi ge äh, fix gezockt? Nix eigentlich. Also nach Higurashi dann eigentlich die ganzen ähm, Dinger. Die ganzen halt Abstimmungen und so weiter. Außer, äh, beziehungsweise, ja, ich würde eventuell, ähm, South Park anfangen zu spielen, das würde ich dann halt eben auf Freitag dann immer verlegen, also Anfang, Anfang vom Freitagstream wird dann denke ich mal South Park sein, weil wir das gestern eben nicht gespielt haben, spielen wir es heute, so als Ausgleich und ja, hätten wir das und äh, übrigens nochmal danke, danke Hasel für, für South Park und ja. Also South Park wird man spielen, das Spiel ist immer noch ein bisschen laut. Moment. Ja, also Higurashi und South Park würde ich sagen und dann halt Abstimmungszeug. Arena was carrying a pretty heavy looking handbag. What is that? Mion answered my unspoken question with a wink. That's right, Reina really did, did make a picnic. Kichan, after you left, Reina pulled out all the stops. It's not like I forced her to do it. It was nothing, so don't worry about it, okay? She's been like this since last night, you know? Can you take responsibility for this? Alright, alright. I'm a man after all. I'll take responsibility. Huh? Re responsibility? For what? For what? As we both turned around slowly to look at Reina, our gazes drifted to downwards to the massive handbag she was carrying. It didn't seem logically feasible that it would be entirely filled with lunchboxes. Except this was Reina we were talking about here. About two kilos, I guess. When Reina was picking it up, I could see she was struggling a bit. I say five. You're ex-grading. Keiichi Kun is a boy, after all. I thought he could probably eat a lot, so I made a lot, okay? Ah, let's get going. Heave ho! Wie hast du das Gefühl, dass du weißt, was passiert wird? Ja, hast du eventuell den Anime schon geschaut? Dann wirst du wahrscheinlich wissen, was passiert. Just from the way she was lifting it up, I couldn't believe the only thing in there were, were large boxes. Correction, I say five kilos too. I'll help, I'll help out, but all of it needs to be eaten. I won't forgive you if you make Rena sad, got it? The only thing I could do at that moment was ex exercise a bit to make myself hungrier. 
Vielleicht. Uh. Having finished with the pleasantries, we began our leisurely stroll. A carefree walk bathed in the gentle morning sunlight. I couldn't have even imagined something so wholesome existed during my time in the day. In the city, my oops. Von dem Spiel gibt's noch nicht mehr. Ja, das ist richtig. These were the boonies after all. Hm. Ja, wir werden sehen. Ich, ich kenne den Anime, zumindest äh, das erste Kapitel sozusagen vom Anime auch. Schauen wir mal, wie die Novel hier wird. <lacht> No slovenly desk jockeys drudging to work on the weekends out here. It really was a nice place, peaceful and quiet. As sparsely populated as the village was, you could still run into people just by walking around. Ah, good day. Good day. Oh, you would be my barakun, I believe. My two companions exchanged greetings with everybody we ran across. All of these passers-by even knew my name. When did I become this famous? We passed three people and when all three of them were when all three of them knew me, I started to feel a bit paranoid. Aha. It's a bit sad to say. Everyone knows everyone since there are so few people here in Hinomisawa. So that means, so that means, when an unfamiliar face walks by, they automatically, automatically assume it's that my bad fella who just moved here. There, that's how it works out. It was a process of elimination you could only pull off in a place like this, but it was quite effective. Mm. From now on, I'd better get, make sure to maintain a good reputation. Today I'm discovered accidentally gawking at a dirty magazine in the bookstore. I can expect all the villagers labeling me as a lech by the next day. Hinamizawa is not to be uh, trifled with. That's not the end of this nightmare. Of course I knew them. Yeah, I know them. The first person we meet was old man Takizu uh, from the Makinos, uh, Makino Bikes shop. His hobbies are bonsai and playing the flute. Next we meet the grocer's second son, Daisuke-kun. Dais His hobby is sharpshooting and he hopes to be an ace sniper in the future. And the person we just met was Miyo-san. The nurse from the clinic. Her hobbies are bird watching and photography. You know the names of everyone we passed by. And even their profiles. Seeing my surprise, me and Arena exchanged her looks and burst out uh, burst into Lotha. Lotha. Well, yeah. We are not like like the city where people hardly know their neighbors. Then then let's try it out. You there, who am I? Ah ha ha ha. Yokeiji Maebara. You say some mean things, but you're actually a kind, shy person. Hello, Guini. It's been three weeks since you transferred here. Your hobby is taking afternoon naps. Lately, you switched over to wearing boxers. Didn't you? That's enough, that's enough. Boxers. Enough of that. Apparently, there is absolutely nothing you can keep hidden here. Hinamizawa. But Hinamizawaza was not a place to be trifled with. Okay. This feels more like you guys are showing me off rather than showing me around. That's right. We are. Parading around like this after all. Don't you all think so too? That Keichan is fitting right in here in Hinamizawa. The population in Hinamizawa is shrinking. So the villagers come uh, welcome anybody who is new, new here. 
I thought about brushing it off with something to the effect of you're kidding me, but I held back. Had I ever greeted someone who'd just moved into the city like this before? Thinking about that made me believe what they said was a joke at all. It wasn't a joke at all. We passed another person. Of course we were called out to again the same way. Oh my, oh my good day. It's wonderful seeing you getting along. This lady here is Fujishima-san. Good day. Oh my, my, ba my barakun. How wonderful for you having a lovely girl on each arm. How are you? Getting used to live here? Instead of re regurgitating a prepared response like I would have in the city, I responded with an emphatic nod. So, quit some moment. <clears throat> the old woman woman chuckled, voicing her appreciation of how in energetic I was. Good. As I looked back over to Rena and Mion, they gave me a wink. So now then. About time to have lunch, maybe? Maybe? Rena's brilliant smile signaled the approach of an event that both Mion and I were trying to forget. We both looked at each other. I'm a man. I'll do what I can, but it's just too much. It's fine, Kei-chan. Leave it to this old man. Mion has never seemed as reliable as she does right now. I'd expect no less from the class representative. Reyna, if we are going to eat, we might as well go somewhere with a good view. Wah, well, uh, yes. Good idea, I agree. Reyna nodded her head happily in response to Mion's proposal. Okay. Ooh. Cresting the top of a stone stairway, a shrine drawn straight out of my imagination appeared before us. It had worn down a bit though the, uh, through the years, but the fallen leaves had been swept up, giving it a tidy feeling. Toot. Must no, okay. This here is the Furude Shrine. It's probably the place where the best view with the breath with the best view around. This place. Be sure to remember it. On our next break a festival will be held here. Ah, isn't it a bit too early in the season for a festival? The Watanagaji isn't a summer festival. Long ago it used to be a celebration of the end of winter. I was embarrassed for assuming that festivals had to be held in the summer. Now then, spread out the lunchboxes. And there. Various colored lunchboxes were placed one after the other on top of the plastic sheet. It sure did smell delicious. It was Reina's home cooking. It went without saying that it would be delicious. But is it even possible to finish to finish all of this? But the horrible Spiele spiel from Death Chaser Bell stehen zur Verfügung. Schön. Hey Mion, I'll take more than just a good few to get this all down, you know. Das heißt, Chaser Bell wird wahrscheinlich gleich auftauchen. Good afternoon. It was Rikachan and Satoku. Why are they here? Mion grinned over at me. I, I see. This was her secret plan to power in numbers. You have my thanks, Mion. Following up when all the pieces are in place is my specialty. We just had to come since there was such a commotion. What is the meaning of this? Take a look. It's time for lunch. Buffet style. A handmade gourmet, gourmet meal by Arena. I can see that much. Why have you laid out a, tri a tarp on our property? The temple is public grounds, it's not yours. 
Keiichi's, right. This is, this is everyone's property. Wow, Rika-chan is such a good girl. Have a seat. Eat with us. After opening up a spot for Rika-chan, I promptly turned my back on Zatoko. Hold on one second, where is my spot? No spot for you and nothing for you to eat. Don't worry, there's some for you too. None, I'll eat all of hers. I will not allow that, Rika. Here, chopsticks. Both Satoko and I leapt at the boxes, having it out with each other. Man, really. Keijan, you're really good at leading people on. You might have a talent for this. Have a plate, one for Mi-chan and Rika-chan too. Rena whipped out pairs of chopsticks and paper plates. If we don't hurry, it'll all be eaten up. That's right, okay. Shall we commence this battle? Please eat a lot. There's enough for everyone. Rena said as she opened up a thermos. Just then I realized that this lunch was made under the assumption that five people would be eating. It didn't change how much there was, but the implication behind it was different. I will, I will not allow you to have this hamburger. Her, using your elbow is against the rules, Satoko. Grabbing the back of my collar is also against the rules. It was tough. It was a tough battle. Blocking with her full momentum and an elbow in the op opening moves, Satoko appeared to have the upper hand. But the difference in our prof proficiency with chopsticks proved to be fatal and gave me the upper hand. Ah, the last meatball! Satoko Hi Hoyo has been ba beasted. Bested, my Nom! Satoko and I amiably began choking at the same time, falling backwards and sp spasming. Rika-chan patted me on the head to clear it, even though it was actually stuck in my throat. Seeing that made Reina blush and breathe heavily in excitement. It was almost like flowers were floating all around her. Mion advised Reina to refrain from saying anything that could get her locked up. Is uh, This is how our meals usually go. <clears throat> I'd do anything in my power. Just so things could stay like, like this. The intense battle calmed. And finally everyone reached a point where they could bring talk, begin talking. Receiving tea from the thermos, I let out a small sigh. I do wonder why there are so... Oops! I do wonder why there are so, so few p words in Japanese to praise how something tastes. Isn't it because the idea of to tough togetherness during a meal didn't begin until the modern era? It seems that, long ago, people ate in silence. It must have made the people preparing the food a bit sad, don't you think? It's probably because back then the people were busy even, even while eating and didn't have the time to complement the flavor. That's just you. But you know, just hearing that is, it's good and makes me happy. That my effort was worth it, I mean. She blushed a little as she said that. It was delicious. With absolutely perfect timing, Rika-chan struck Rena directly with praise. She looked straight at her with an expression of bewitching innocence. Oh. Oh? After Rena uttered an unintelligible noise, a ring of smoke rose from her head with an audible poof. Oh, Rika-chan, I'm gonna take you home. No, I mean, thank you. It was very delicious. Rena flushed red with excitement, embarrassing Rika-chan and rubbing her cheek against her so hard you could hear, you could almost hear it. This man will just take you to Kaino, no? Can't 
to reward Rikachan for her praise. Tada! These are special. Two apple rabbits. After sticking toothpicks into them, she thrusts them towards uh, toward Rikachan. After Rikachan accepted them, the mood suddenly shifted in a bizarre way. What is it, Satoko? What's with Hurra, die geteilten Spiele von Death Chaser Bell stehen hier. Was macht denn die? Chaser Bell. What is it, Otoko? What's with that defiant look? Has everyone prepared proper praise to receive apples from Rena-san? Don't push yourself. What kind of praise can you think up with your, with your weak vocab? Ho ho ho! Well then, allow me to show you. After Satoko flashed Mion and me a defiant look, she changed the tone of her voice suddenly. Ah, uh, um, hey. So, Rena Onichan's lunch? Satoko thought it was yummy too. Satoko looked up at her potily, why, potily what was he, while talking cutesy. What? How was that praise? That's not even persuasion by tears. That's persuasion by cuteness, isn't it? This is a Rena Limited special skill. She blushed and her head spun, waving around in circles. Don't fall for it, Rena. Oh. Of course, that was asking for the impossible. Rena glomped it, glomped. Satoko and began rubbing her cheek against her. Cute! Satoko is so cute! Take take you home? How? Swish. Stop! Push! Satoko was also presented with apple rabbits. After stuffing them into her mouth, she looked over at Mion and me again with that defiant gaze. Hey oh. It took only five seconds to take down Reyna. That's unfair. To think she had such a trick. If it upsets you so much, why not reward reyna san with some praise? Damn it. That was dirty trick. First of all, that wasn't even praise. Satoko, you think you've won with that, don't you? How about I show you something much better than your superficial gimmicks? That sounds great, Mion. What kind of trick is it? Keichan is going to be the one who does it. What? Ho ho ho. Why don't I have you show me then? The writhing of an old maid. The plan of attack is suggested. Uh, the plan of attack she, su she suggested was wicked. But it was the only thing we had to beat, uh, so Choco. After sipping my tea, I started talking very naturally and calmly. Perfectly. It really is good, isn't it? This is all freshly made, right? Ah, no. Actually, most of it, almost all of it, was frozen stuff. Then which ones uh, did you make fresh? Uh, uh, well... It's embarrassing. Do I really have to say... Must I? From the synergy of a boy plus handmade lunch box, her expression had melted into euphor euphoria. I already know. This one, right? Uh, uh huh. Uh, Rena turned an even better shade of red. The words, I can't believe it, practically, practically written on her face. <clears throat> How can you tell? How? Uh, that... that I made it. Of course, Mion had told me beforehand. 
It's been perfect so far. After acting like I was shy, I waited a beat. Next would be the finisher. It had... Your smell. Silence enveloped the area. Rena, face still completely red, froze solid. With a small yelp, Satoko also blushed. Of course I did too. I sure would like to try one of Rena's handmade apple rabbits. Or something. Even if this was all because I was competing against Satoko, it felt like I had crossed the line by a good nine yards, I think. Then at that moment... Bush! It was a Tupperware container filled with rabbits. Please eat some Keiji Kun. There's plenty for you. In instantly dozens of uh, the apples were shoved into my mouth, knocking me over. Uh, okay. They are... They are... <laughs> My head was forcibly laid upon her lap, upon her lap, and even more apples were shoved into my mouth. While she was squealing, one apple after another was forced into my mouth. More and more apples. How old them are all? How How about the apples, Satoko? Looks like we win. Kechan, that was a beautiful sacrifice. How's that, Satoko? This is our complete uh, victor, isn't it? It can't be such trickery. It, it doesn't bother me at all. Satoko ground, ground her teeth mortified. We did it. I claimed victory as my consciousness drifted slowly away from me. At that time, Rena stopped her squealing as she suddenly reali realized something. Rika-chan, you're not eating it. Did the salt water make it too strong? Maybe? Maybe? Looking over, Rika-chan had pulled the toothpick out of the apple rabbit, placed it into her cupped hands and seemed to be at a loss for what to do. Poor Mr. Rabbit. I feel sorry for him. I want to save him. Free. That was the sound of blood spurting from Rena's nose. C -c -c -cut. Tonight I will take you home. She shook sporadically, her head wobbling back and forth. Then, coming back to her senses, she took all of the apples around me, gathered them up with a whip, 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 and fixed them back up on a plate. Now they are just fine, okay? Here, I'll give them to you, Rika-chan. Okay? Okay? Rika-chan raised up Satoko's hand uh, like a referee. After having that plate of rabbits shoved to her, she whispered. This is our victory. What? 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 A comeback. Oops. Hi. Has... I just don't care anymore. Thus, my sacrifice ended up being in vain. Okay. Was das schon? Im zweiten Kapitel oder? Oder? Nee, doch noch nicht. It was a fun-filled crazy day. But as soon as the sun began to set, the end of the day really did come quickly. Later, Rain and Kei-chan, see you, to, see you tomorrow. Thanks for today, Mion. I had a great time. See you tomorrow. Satoko and Rika-chan went home as well. We parted ways with Mion and it ended with just Rain and myself enjoying the evening air on our way home. Thanks for coming today, Keiji Kun. Was it fun? Yeah, lots of fun. Almost uh, feels like a waste to go home now. Ah, then, well, would you mind taking a little detour, maybe? Maybe. A detour? Is it far? It's a bit of a walk, but uh, it won't take long. 
since since we had been walking around all day, I must have seemed a bit tired. Not feeling like teasing Rena, I quietly nodded. Okay. Ah, the Müllhalde. Traversing a small path and up a small hill, the land suddenly stretched out before us. There, what looked like the remains of a dilapidated construction site came into view. Oder war das gar keine Müllhalde? Doch, da. A large heap of garbage spread out of towards the swamp. Probably illegal, illegal dumping. I called it being in the newspaper. Oof, oof, oof. It's been quite a while. I wonder what's here. I wonder what's here. When you say it's been a while, you mean the business you had here was with this garbage pile? It's not garbage. To me it's a pile of treasure. Rena had already entered that well-known cute mode of hers. So that meant there was something cute here. Wow, a new pile. I can't wait, I can't wait. She bounded up the unstable slope. I'd expect no less from a born and bred country girl. Hey, wait, I'm coming. War. My city race self was completely pitiful. It's alright. Just stay right there, Keichikun. It won't take long. Rena kindly declined my accompaniment. Compliment. Don't fall. Watch your step. I'm fine, I'm fine. This is nothing at all. Was spielen wir danach? Ich würde eventuell sagen South Park. Und nach South Park dann eben Abstimmungszeug. Literally bounding up the heap of trash, Rena disappeared over the other side. Mit, ich drück immer die rechte Maustaste. I didn't like being left behind, but I was still pretty tired from the whole day, so I just ended up waiting. Without li lively, 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 Rena around the surrounding area quickly fell into silence. The cry of the Higurashi gently cooled the air. Fairly exhausted, I began to feel a little sleepy. Just then the sudden noise of scattering pebbles altered me to somebody's presence. Startled, I turned around. <clears throat> Standing there was a typical looking photographer. He spied over at me through his camera. His body was tanned and fit. But something, <coughs> but something about him seemed unreliable, and he had a bit of an aloof air around him, uh, about him. Well, it didn't seem like he was a bad guy in any case. Whoa, you surprised me. Although startled when I turned around, he overplayed his reaction. That was my line. I'm the one who surprised here. My bad, my bad. I didn't mean to startle you. Are you from Hinamizawa? I gathered that he wasn't from that question. Unfaced by my suspicious outlook, he introduced himself without my prompting. <clears throat> I'm Tomitake, free freelance photographer. I come to Himani Hinamizawa from time to time. I didn't ask you who you were. Quite rude to photograph someone without consent, one would think. My bad, my bad. I, may, I mainly photograph wild birds. They can't refuse, so you, uh, you see. Ah, ha, ha. So what, you're saying I'm the same as the birds? No, well, you see. That image of a young man in the twilight was just picturesque. I apologize for trying to take your picture without asking. Adults, adults are pretty slick. All that annoyance I felt for being startled just flew away as he buttered me up. 
I, ho I had no intention of hanging around with this guy trying to get cozy with me. Except it didn't uh, seem like Arena would be back soon. But this older guy, Tomitaki-san, he didn't mind my cautious responses and continued rambling on by himself. Keiji kun sorry to keep you waiting. I'm finished now. Reina popped her head out from one of the lower piles of garbage and waved her hand. You have someone with you? What would she be doing over there? That's what I wanted to know. Dunno. Maybe she's checking on that dismembered corpse that was out here long ago. Tomitake-san looked shaken up by that for a moment. Uh oh. I responded... Uh oh. I responded like I would if I were talking with Rena and the others. It was quite a disturbing incident. They still haven't found one of the arms. Ha ha ha. Keiji kun, sorry to keep you. You were waiting a while, I guess. I guess? I'd best leave you two lovebirds alone. Again, my apologies for startling you, Keiji kun. <clears throat> Tomitake san chortled suggestively, then disappeared into the, into the twilight, missing my chance to retort, but put me off a bit. Keiji kun, are you angry? Why, I wonder. I wonder. It wasn't Rena's fault, so I decided to just brush it off for now. How was it? Find a treasure trove? Oh yes, so listen. Now, um, you see, there was a Colonel Sanders door. A Colonel Sanders door. Oh, that thing, those statues they always have out in front of that fried chicken place. That life-sized dummy? Yes, Colonel Sanders. How cute! I want to take it home. I couldn't tell how she decided. She decides what's cute or not, but well, she seems to want it. It's garbage, right? No one would care if you just take It's become the base of another pile. I can't dig it out easily. There's no lamp posts over there, so it'll get dark pretty soon. <clears throat> Rina seemed quite down about finding a treasure and not being able to bring it back. I'll help you out, to repay you for that delicious picnic you prepared today. <clears throat> oh, well, thank you. Birds heading home to roost proclaimed that nightfall would soon be upon us. Keiji kun is going to help. I can I can take Colonel Sanders home. How? Rena staggered along as if intoxicated in her dreamy state of mind. I tried asking her in a way that wouldn't take her out of her cheery state. Hey Rena. Long ago did something happen here? Seems like they were building a dam here. So I do uh, I don't know the details though how. Just wondering if you knew about you know an accident or something. I don't know. Her tone was disturbingly f disturbingly frank. It sounded more like a denial than in than an answer. I must have appeared rather dumbstruck. Rena quickly lightened her expression. Actually, I didn't live here until a year ago. Huh? You transferred, transferred here too? I was sure that... So, you see, I don't really know much from before that. Sorry. <clears throat> don't really know, don't want to talk about it. That was the kind of feeling she gave me. Thinking about it, of course, it would be like that. This wasn't the type of things uh, thing girls would enjoy talking about. It was quite a disturbing incident. It seems they haven't been able to find one of the arms. If it's just like Tomitake-san said, then I had a feeling only the Higurashi would know. Okay. <coughs>
Neue Tipps. My butter, my butter Menschen, damn side murder. Gut. Speichern. Jo. Gut.